It's Saturday night in Southern Arizona and lots of film fans have turned out here at the Mecca of independent and avant-garde film in Tucson, the Loft Cinema. I'm Alex Jordan Darby and hometown hero tonight is Perry Reginald Teo. His film, Gene Generation, premieres here several months before it makes its wide cinematic release. Film stars Bai Ling, that uh, karate chopping crazy woman that you've heard so much about. You may remember her from The Crow, a small part in, uh, in Wild Wild West. She's been in Red Corner. And one of my favorite films, The Dumplings. We're here tonight to film some DVD extras. We're asking fans before and after the film what they think about it, what they are looking forward to, some trivia questions, and just a general goings on. As I said, the film Gene Generation, based on the uh, comic book series DNA Hacker Chronicles, should be an exciting night, and we welcome you aboard. Come on and enjoy it with us. What's your name and where you're from? My name is Cassandra Sparrow. I'm from Tucson, Arizona. Kroger, from, right here from Tucson, Arizona. Dominique, and I'm from Tucson. Misty Pantel, and I am originally from Fort Worth, Texas, but I live here in Tucson now. My name is Oscar Stevens. This is my beautiful wife, Adelaida. Hi, how are you? Here from Tucson, Arizona. My name is Andrew. I'm from Orlando, Florida. Uh, my name is Chuck Graham. I'm with the Tucson Citizen, a film reviewer with the Citizen. And what brings you to the loft tonight? Uh, we came to see the premiere here in Tucson of uh, the Gene Generation. Hang out with some good friends and have a great time. You know, I looked at this movie on, on the website and it just looks like it could really break out. It seems like it'll be, it could really be a breakout movie for a local, locally connected film. I just, I've got high hopes for this one. What have you heard about this film? What are you looking forward to? My husband told me that it was a very good movie, so that's why we're here. I know it's a sci-fi movie and I know Bai Ling's in the, in the movie, so. I know there will be good acting because I have seen Bai Ling in several other movies. Should be a good movie. She's a good actress. I'm actually looking forward to seeing as much action as possible and just to see what, what Bai Ling's capable of and just to see really just all the best parts of the movie. I expect a lot of high-end action, some good fight scenes. Cyber sexy and fun and just creative all the way through. Just creative. What brings you to the loft tonight? Uh, out here to support Gene Generation. Been following the uh, comic books and the uh, movie for a little while. Finally it's uh, now that it's actually getting a premiere. Heard about it, decided that I have to come on down and uh, check it out. You viewed some of the film online and you think it could break out. What is it about the film that gives you that feeling? It has a real edgy look to it. It's all in the design. It's got kind of a Blade Runner looking design to it. And people are also saying the Matrix. I don't know, but uh, I just think the look of it will set it apart. It just has got a really nice racy, edgy look to it. What makes Bai Ling special in your eyes? I think it's the way she moves, the way she, she does her fight scenes. Female Bruce Lee. Very poetic almost. Uh, she works really well with other characters, other uh, in the fight scenes in general. She's pretty powerful little chick. Moves very fluently. Uh, her body shape is perfect for the type of character she plays. I did a nice interview with Bai Ling on the phone, so... No, I know she said Bai Ling. I say Bai Ling and I, I bounce back and forth. Does it really matter? She's just really hot, isn't she? She is extremely hot. <laughs> <laughs> and her personality fits fits her look. You yeah. know, I mean, she's got that aggressive, no-nonsense personality, but not in an annoying way. You right. know, she's just really, really totally cool about it. It's like 20-something films she's been in. I really love the way Bai Ling presented herself in The Crow. And so I was impressed with that. Just a minority, just playing a superhero. It's totally awesome. She's hot, she's sexy, and she's fun. I love the girl power. <laughs> <laughs> That's the only thing I know. For me, I'm such a big fan that it's uh, one of the best feelings going on right now. I started off as a huge fan of the Crow movies and stuff, and uh, just got further along and then found out about Perry Teo being from Tucson and some of the movies that he was coming out with and stuff, so I decided that I had to be here for this and it's the best feeling ever. John Esslinger and I'm from Tucson, Arizona. I've been a party to the promotion of this production now ever since we came up with the idea to have the premiere here. 
I spent all afternoon with Bai Ling, and I sat next to her on the limo coming over. She is the, the, the nicest, most rounded, pleasant person in the world to be around. But what I've learned about this business, once I got past the wow factor, is business. Yeah. Uh, my name is Keith Calais and I was the producer and co-writer of the film. I supervise the visual effects and um, in fact I projected the show off my laptop in the theater. Now what have you heard about uh, Perry Teo? Uh, seen any of, the, of his other films? Any anticipatory stuff about what's going to be in this film? Oh, I'm, I'm I've been following everything that he's been coming out with from uh, uh, Children of Arcania all the way up to uh, Liberotomy and everything. Um, it's I'm expecting a lot of good uh, visualization and stuff out of this movie. I think visually I like to, you know, I like the idea of uh, introducing new worlds and, you know, making a film is kind of uh, externalizing fantasy almost. A lot of buzz going about this film, Gene Generation. Uh, where'd you come up with this idea? Um, wow, that's really hard to say. Um, I guess you could say I, uh, I, I got the idea from an Ouija board. Final question, Bai Ling, raised in China. At 14 years old, she did something way out of the ordinary. Any idea what that was? No, I don't. <laughs> I don't have a clue. I can't really recall. I think I did read that somewhere. I can't recall. She, got she left China. Hasn't she appeared in Playboy? She got married. She joined the Chinese army or was, uh, what do you call it? Drafted. Drafted into the Chinese army. Chinese People's Liberation Army. Right, yeah, that's it. Right. At 14? That's hardcore. That's pretty awesome. It wouldn't surprise me a bit. That is what I heard. That's right, yes. I was reading about that somewhere. I think it was on a movie website somewhere. What were you doing at 14? Uh, playing with my Barbies. <laughs> <laughs> You're the only one that's gotten it. Really? Yes. Hey, you gotta read the website, you know what I mean? Folks, gotta do that research. This critic knows this business. Thanks for being here, enjoy the film. Thank you, man, thanks All very right. much. I've known who Bai Ling is ever since she started making films, and, and I always enjoyed the uh, this real sexy, frail kind of looking right, woman right, right. just kicking the what you call it out of bad guys, because I'm not into bad guys. I've actually had the chance to meet her once. She's an awesome lady, uh, very, very uh, sweet. And yes, yeah, like, dang, I want to be like her when I grow up. Gene Generation. It opens wide later this summer and it stars Bai Ling. And it's a futuristic thriller, a sci-fi horror. I don't want to tell you too much about it. I'll just tell you that it's based on the DNA Hacker Chronicles, okay? These very bad people go in and they hack into your DNA and they can control you. They can actually kill you. Well. Bai Ling plays Michelle, who's an assassin, and her brother gets mixed up in this whole thing, and, well, you just got to come and see it. Bai Ling, welcome to Tucson. Thank you. Is this cool, hot. I feel the heat, I feel the nature, I feel the waves of craziness, like nature. I don't know, I feel like there's a calm, but there's a wildness here. I feel the wild animals, somehow their spirits still here. The, the heat does that. I know, right? It seems like in the last couple of years we have TV shows like Alias, we have the Fantastic Four, this image of the kick-ass, powerful woman on screen so much. How do you feel about that and where do you think that came from? I think people are sick of always men fighting and kicking ass. They see enough. They want to see something fresh and new. And a woman is such empower now in the world. You know, we're all independent, we kick ass, we're intelligent, we're successful, and we're also this fast-paced, powerful animal. I look at you, and you're absolutely gorgeous. Where do you get your fashion sense? What? How do you decide what you're going to look like that day? I, I, I go on the internet, and I see 223 pictures, and it's like 150 different women, in oh, a sense. Thank you. You're very uh, uh, observant, perceptive, Easy very sharp. Easy to be sharp. observant thank in you. certain situations.